Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I really regret that I'm not able to be with you today to celebrate Universal Children's Day. I'm in Asia, attending the European Union China Summit. Let me first sincerely thank our five partner organizations who put such tremendous efforts into making the European Union Children of Peace Initiative a success over the last year. I would also like to extend my appreciation and congratulations to our nine new partners, who I'm sure will be equally successful in supporting conflict-affected children. A year ago, the European Union received the 2012 Nobel Peace Prize for its contribution to peace on the European continent and the wider world. We were awarded this prize in recognition of the tireless work that several generations have put into writing the European success story and in passing peace and prosperity to their children. Today, in a world that is increasingly globalized, our children are asking us to share this success with the rest of the planet. This is why we created the European Union Children of Peace Initiative as a lasting legacy of this honor. The European Union is and remains the world's biggest donor of humanitarian and development aid. But more than being an important source of funding for our partners and a supporter of sustainable reforms, this means showing leadership, promoting universal values and rights, helping the most vulnerable of the world. It means shouldering responsibility, the responsibility to fight for the relief to the people most in need in conflicts as in Syria or after tragic natural disasters as now in the Philippines, but also in crises which do not make headlines from the Western Sahara to Colombia, from Chad to the Central African Republic. Tens of thousands of people, especially children, will not make it without our help. Leadership also means preparing for the future as we are working together to frame our global development objectives beyond 2015, dedicating our Nobel Prize money to education sends a strong signal to the world. Education is key to securing lasting peace in Europe and beyond, and children, often the most vulnerable group in conflicts, are the best ambassadors of peace. The Youth Children of Peace Initiative thus supports a key area of humanitarian and development aid, Education for children affected by conflict, so that the children of war become children of peace. May this European Union initiative be an inspiration for many, and above all, a source of hope for kids throughout the world. I'd like to thank all of you who makes this happen on the ground. Happy Universal Children's Day. Thank you.